What's up, everybody? Yeah, I was watching um Holly Berry, Holly Berry and Tony Braxton. I was watching them, and they talking about the men. You know how they man cheated on them. Holly Berry talking about how Eric Bonet cheated on her. Like I would say, cheating, <clears throat> cheating implies that the relationship was a game from the start. You talking? He cheated, cheated. She said she had the perfect marriage, perfect baby. She was at the height of her career. She was winning awards and shit, but that man cheated on her. And that's because in the back of her mind, Holly Berry's from Ohio. Tony Braxton is from Maryland. Holly Berry's from the hood. I don't know. What, I think Tony Braxton grew up with a mother and father. I don't know if Holly Berry grew up with a mother and father, but that's life. Here you are in America with two of the prettiest black women known to man. They... they you know, on TV. I've seen pretty women in the street too. But on TV, they, you know. But they're saying men cheated on them. Man, it is what it is. Shit. And I tell you, cheating implies that the relationship is a game from the start. People, myself included, didn't know any better. But like I said, man, you just gotta, you gotta look for the bad shit right away. People gonna be people. People do shit they do. You know, pick up the pieces and move on. You know what I'm saying? But you got to, like, I was going, I was making this video to say that you got a lot of guys that think like their mother. And the reason they think like their mother is because that's who they grew up in the house with. People are known by virtue of who they spend their time around the most. If a boy is under his mother all the time, that's who he's going to act like. And then if he got men, if he don't have a father, but he got male role models, but he's always under his mother, he, there's a con conflict. And he's confused sometimes. He's doubtful, emotional, and bitchy. That's why you got a lot of guys in the hood like that. They're doubtful, emotional, and bitchy, and they're confused and shit. Because they're getting advice from one person. They don't have a male role model around. So they act like their mother. That's what they act like. And they, they, they do everything like their mother. Yeah, that's why you hear guys say, my mother said this. My mother, my mother said, don't be doing this. My mother said that. They, they never say what my father said. And like I be saying, guys be so quick. To call a girl a hoe, but a lot of these guys never met their father. They don't even know their father. So what that mean? You gonna call a girl? You gonna call a girl that you mad at a hoe, but you don't want nobody to call your mother a hoe. But you don't know who your father is. So is that right? Guys be bugging out, man. That's why you niggas wanna. Guys should just be bugging, bugging, fighting over, fighting over something you don't even own. I ain't fighting over no fucking girl. Fuck that. If I got a girlfriend and you want her, you can take her. If you can take her, you can have her. I ain't gonna do that shit. Fuck, I care. That's her pussy. She could do what she want to do with it. She could do what she want to do with it. She could jump in the garbage and let the maggots eat it for all I care. But you guys want to fight and kill over it. Get the fuck out of here. Like Red Fox said, why? Why should I pay for sex when I got two good hands? And in the morning, I could switch girlfriends. <laughs> oh, I'm talking shit and I got a Leah on my shirt. Check out a Leah. I like the Leah. I like that song. Rock the boat. What was it? Rock the boat. Rock the boat. That's a Leah. But I said, I don't know you guys be bugging, man. I ain't paying for no fuck that. It like always, I'm pushing my book, Corner Stores in the Middle of the Block, and my other book of poetry, Don't Beat Your Children or They'll Turn Out Like Me. And I got a third one called Agitation Gets the Dirt Eye. Use Cash App and get a copy.